Hi there, Michael Posnick here, Century 21 Northumberland, your high definition real estate agent, now with over 250,000 views on my YouTube channel. Today we're going to take a look at a really interesting list listing I stumbled across at 60 Moore Road in Victoria West, about 20 minutes west of Summerside. It's a CMHC listing, Canadian Home Mortgage Corp, so somebody lost it to the bank after spending a ton of money renovating and adding to it. It's on 120 acres of uh, waterfront, two different parcels, and it's approximately 4,300 square feet. Let's go take a look. This listing is definitely well worth seeing, and the sign says that right on it. Well worth seeing. So this is the side entrance, which leads right into a bathroom there. So we've got a little bit of a mud room here, heading down to the hall of the bathroom. Laundry room here, and one thing I notice is these walls are super, super thick. So I'm not sure what they're doing for insulation, but looks like it's very well insulated. It's the main floor uh, bathroom, toilet, and we've got a stand-up shower. To our left, looks like this uh, room here on the main floor is configured as an office, judging by these uh, brass receptacles here. Another bedroom to the right. View of the backyard. That's the front entrance door. And then we've got this massive kitchen and a massive dining area. There's another view of the kitchen. We have dual dishwashers and dual ovens and it looks like a gas range. We have nice sliding doors here. And behind them is a massive living room or main floor rec room. We'll take a walk up these stairs and see what we find. Right at the top of the stairs is a bathroom with a stand-up shower, toilet, whirlpool tub with windows, and a sink. This bedroom is just on the other side of the bathroom we just saw. This bedroom is just on the other side of the bathroom I just showed you. This is the bedroom on the other side of the hallway. Now we'll just take a trip down this rather long hallway. If we turn immediately to our right, we can go out this door and plunge to our death. Just up these stairs is a very large unfinished room. Completely insulated it looks like. If I do a complete 360 at the end of the hall, we have one bedroom here, another bedroom here, the super major size master bedroom here, and we've got a, another bathroom here. You can access this bathroom from both the hallway and the master suite, completely stand-up shower. Let's go see what's in the basement. There are no lights on, so don't be scared. We've got two rooms here. And this one looks like it has some sort of uh, wood stove or, I don't know, some sort of heating source. This is the room at the end of the hall which would be used as a bedroom or something. And then we've got a full bathroom here. Another jacuzzi tub. Stand-up shower. Toilet, the lid up. And then a sump pump. This is the utility room to the left, the Venmar air recirculator. Looks like a central vac. And it appears there is a sale on breakers. Because we've got a huge breaker panel. And this looks like a generator switch. Either that one or this one. So there probably is a generator hookup outside. Central vac hose. So we have a second basement here. This looks like it was the original house. Uh, that's an expansion tank for the well. That would be your controls for your well. Looks like it's all insulated. We've got a wall-mounted propane-fired hot water heater on demand. Another electrical panel. And what looks to be the remnants of the original furnace unremoved and not hooked up. 
This is a view of the back of the house. You got your hookup for your generator there. At one point there is a pool located right there. Now here's one thing I don't understand is why is the satellite dish located way over there? They obviously didn't understand anything about dielectric loss. So that's 60 more road. Thank you very much for watching my video. For up to the second updates, please make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the email me instantly button. Uh, also, subscribe to my weekly newsletter at michaelshomes.com for weekly tips, tricks, and traps in PEI real estate. Thank you, have a great day, and remember to buy it right.